12 more seconds, Adam and Dale, you guys need to really rush. Call this the Kahoot for chess because uh, we, we they get to feel uh, the same amount of rush in this as well. Who also got it this time, right? He has to stop e3, guys. Rook c8 is the right move in this position. And knight takes c8, rook takes c8, and maybe he has one more move to block it, and still, white wins the game. Hi everyone, this is Grandmaster Arun Prasad, and uh, here I am with the Chislang team today. They are going to do the puzzle challenge with me, and uh, to do that, we have uh, the Chislang CEO, Arun Srinivas. Hi Arun Srinivas. Hey, hi Arun, thanks for having us here. Awesome, and uh, we also have uh, Chislang CEO, Raghuram. Hi, Ragram. Hi, Arun. Awesome. Okay, so this is mainly for uh, the coaches and uh, the academies around the world to get to know the website better. We'll also understand uh, uh, all the new features that has been added. So we have a new feature called uh, uh, Chislang Ask, which is, I mean, I personally like to call it uh, a puzzle challenge because uh, this is really uh, an awesome feature for the students because uh, even the students who are like who find uh, like calculation sometimes tactics to be like little uh, difficult they are also pretty excited to uh, really do this uh, more or less i would call this the kahoot for chess because uh, we, we they get to feel uh, the same amount of rush in this as well so uh, let's get to uh, see how this is done in real time so here is the page um, I think, uh, yeah, the coaches can really add the databases that they want. I have added like a few positions for today to show you guys. Um, okay, so here, here are the positions that we have here. So let's begin with this easy one. And here is the participants window. So here are the players who are playing this. And uh, here is the leaderboard. So this is where uh, we will get to see the points and the number of attempts uh, that the students have made and here the the interesting part is that uh, see as a coach uh, whenever I give uh, positions to my students in the, in the website as homework uh, one of the things that I'm not really very happy with the students is that they literally make all the number of moves that's possible in a given position to find out the answer well that's not the way to really uh, find the correct answer so here is a feature to avoid that because uh, here we have the number of attempts that the kids can try the point is, if they make the wrong move, if they take like too many attempts to find the answer, so the points keep reducing. For example, if they get it in the very first try, they're going to get 10 points. And uh, for each and every attempt that they go wrong, so the points keep reducing by one point. So if they get it in the second try, they are going to only get nine points, which is an amazing feature, which will also like motivate the kids to uh, really get it in the very first try, which is quite amazing. So uh, let's also explore like what are the options that we have here and how this is done in real time. So let's get started. So here is the first position. So so all the players get ready and here we are going to get started with the first position. And for the first position, um, I would say this is a relatively easier one. So I'm going to give you guys only like 60 seconds. So let's get started. Here we go. The first position. So here uh, we would be able to like really see all the atoms that the players are making for each and every position. So here we have Varun and Raghu, they got it in the very first try, so they have got 10 points in, to begin with. And unfortunately, Dale and uh, Lisa are not like so lucky this time, so they have got it wrong in the initial ones. But again, the second attempt, Lisa got it and got 9 points, which is also not bad. But yeah, this is the whole point. Like if they don't get it in the very first try, they are making mistakes. Obviously, the number of points go less which will also like motivate the kids to uh, do it in the very first try, which is which is what as a coach, like we all want. Okay, and I think we have like only like 12 more seconds, Adam and Dale, you guys need to really rush. Let's get it fast. So, five more seconds, faster, faster. Okay, Adam got it and unfortunately Dale didn't have, uh, get the right answer. Okay, awesome. That's quite interesting. And uh, to show you guys uh, the answer, so let's see this. Let's end this first. And uh, 
Okay, so to show the kids the answer, we can just literally move the pieces on the board and uh, the students will also be able to see the answer on their screen. So this is the right answer guys for the kids who didn't really get the answer. Um, so I think we can move on to the next position. And here we see the, the leaderboard. Okay, so here we go. The next position. I think this one is also a relatively simpler one. So let's give everyone, let's say, I think 60 seconds should be pretty good for this position too, I guess. So everyone get ready. So let's get started. And once again, we'll be able to see the points in real time. As they, as they attempt each and every position, uh, each and every move, we'll be able to see that. Raghu got it in the very first try. Dale, we need to keep up. So, take your time. You still have like 40 seconds. And, uh, yeah, pretty good. Second attempt. Got it right. And, yeah, we have Nitesh, Raghu and Darun get the right answer. Dale also have got it this time. Okay, guys, we have like 20 more seconds. We need to get it done. Awesome. So I think everybody got it. I think, uh, anyway, to quickly explain the point, the problem for black is, you can even put the arrows and show them. So here we go. Uh, the problem for black is the back rank weakness. And uh, unfortunately, the king doesn't have any back run away too. So rook c8 is the right move in this position. And knight takes c8, rook takes c8. And maybe he has one more move to block it. And still white wins the game. So as we make the move, like the students will also be able to um, see the moves on their screen too. And to see the leaderboard, once again, we see, uh, yeah, Arun has got uh, 20 points in two positions. Yeah, they get 10 points for each and every position. I think yeah, the kids love this, basically. Okay, so the next one uh, is going to be a little more challenging for them. So I'm going to give them more time for this. So the idea is, um, we go ask the question and we have like 90 seconds okay it's a white turn to play guys and uh, okay Raghu got in the very first try pretty good hmm Arun got it in the second try so he lost one point for this Dale, pretty good. And uh, as we see uh, in real time, we'll be able to um, see the number of attempts they are making for each and every position. And whether they're getting it right or wrong, we'll be able to see. And we also like uh, the kids um, from the student side, they'll also be able to see the leaderboard. Here we have this option to show them. Um, sometimes showing them is pretty good. Sometimes we, it's better not to show them. Some kids um, really do well when we show the leaderboard and some kids really don't do well when they see this. So depending on your students, you can basically decide whether you want to show the leaderboard or not. I think that's again a pretty good feature. So yeah, I think everybody got it uh, this time, but uh, the number of attempts were more. So I think everybody got uh, lesser points. But anyways, to show them the answer once again, uh, in this position too, the uh, right answer, we have to keep it forcing. So let's go with queen g7 and king takes g7 is met with knight f5 and uh, in chess always uh, sacrifices are the most beautiful part of the game and uh, especially the queen sacrifices are probably the, the best among them. Okay, so the leaderboard, we have Raghu in the top and uh, Arun, Nitesh are all following him closely. So let's move on to the next one. Um, okay, here is a difficult position. So for this position, I think I need to give them a little more time. So let's keep it like 120 seconds or maybe more if they really want. Um, okay, everyone get ready. This sounds black sun to play. Here we go. Okay, guys, so the way to understand this position, 
Um, as we see, the queen on h2 and the knight on f4 out in the attack. The white king is clearly exposed. Understand the features before uh, making your decision. Um, look at all the forcing moves. Look at all uh, chips, captures, threats and make your decision. Okay, Raghu had already attempted three times and Arun has also attempted twice. Hmm. Okay, Nitesh. Okay, so I understand this position is a little challenging one. So, I'll give you guys a clue. Now, let's assume Black wants to go knight to h3 with the idea of queen g1 checkmate. Looks pretty convincing. So, knight h3 is a pretty strong move. White has only one reaction. It's pretty easy to understand that white wants to go e3. And knight h3 doesn't work because of e3. So, that gives us a clue and Dale got it. Dale, did you get it uh, because I gave you the clue or did you get it yourself? Okay, Raghu also got it this time. <laughs> Amazing. Lisa got it. In the very first try, pretty good. Arun also got it. Okay, Nitesh and Adam. Did you guys understand the problem? So, knight to h3, threatening queen g1 doesn't work because of e3. So, what are we supposed to do? We have only 10 more seconds. Let's do it fast. The idea is to stop e3, guys. Okay, so time's up and uh, I think we should see the answer now. Okay, so... Hold a second. I think we need to run this position. Okay, so here we go. This is the position we were looking at. And uh, as I said earlier, we wanted this knight h3 move. The point is threatening queen g1. But unfortunately, like, white has this e3. Once e3 happens, the king can run away to e2 and uh, pretty difficult to catch the king after that. So the point is, we have to stop this e3 move. And the best way to do is rook e3, a brilliant sacrifice. The point is, pawn takes rook is met with knight h3 and uh, queen g1 is unstoppable checkmate. So, yeah, once again, we can... Uh, show these moves to the students and uh, help them understand the position much better. Okay, I think uh, to all the coaches and, uh, and the academies who are using this website and uh, those who really want to take advantage of this website because uh, uh, I think the website has amazing features, um, to help the students understand, to make things more easier for them and also easier for the coaches to uh, express their thoughts and ideas, I think uh, this website, the Chesslang has built an amazing product for this and I think uh, everyone should really take advantage of this. So I think with this video, I guess uh, everyone understands the new features that we have. Uh, but I think uh, as I spoke with uh, Arun Srinivas, the CEO of Chesslang, uh, he mentioned that there are more uh, interesting features coming up. So probably I'll catch you all in another video with that. So until then, take care everyone. Goodbye.